Welcome to the TV channel. You're watching a weekly link up with me, Anna Kasatkina. We would like to discuss the ongoing situation on Forex with technical analyst Peter Yakimovich and forecast further moves of popular currency pairs. This trading week will be remembered by geopolitical tensions in the Middle East and a series of upbeat macroeconomic data from the US. As a result, the US dollar is closing the week with notable gains. Let's ask our technical analyst Peter Yakimovich how the situation could change next week. Hi Peter, welcome back to the studio after the New Year holidays. Hello there traders. First of all, I want to uh, say uh, Happy New Year and uh, I'm sure that this year will be will be good for you and uh, with a plenty of um, plenty for the opportunities that you can find on the market so I will start with the euro dollar and um, what I found on the euro dollar is basically that there is a potential for the ABC completion so the down downward uh, correction in my opinion uh, completed uh, on the euro dollar uh, the key support level is set at the price of 1.1100 and it seems like that it's holding very well so my advice is absolutely watch for the buying opportunities on this currency pair um, the upward targets are set at the price of 1.1200 level and the 1.1250 level again the uh, short term um, speaking of the short term there is a still upside uh, trend overall in higher highs and higher lows so my advice after to watch for buying opportunities on the dips on this currency pair with the first target at the price of 1.1200. Do you think the pound sterling has the chance of regaining losses? On the British pound versus US dollar, there is a actually very, very similar situation because we got a potential completion of the ABC uh, downside cor uh, corrective phase. And the level of, at 1.3 seems like a very very strong important uh, support and it's it is also a round number which is basically another confirmation that this uh, may be indeed level where the buyers may may start to participate um, so I, my advice basically to watch for buying opportunities on the dips and um, um, i see the upward targets are set at the price of 1.3200 level and 1.3209 level um, Again, uh, the British pound dollar most recently got a downside move, but as I said, the overall structural play still there is a there is a still a bullish trend in the background. So my advice to watch to buy uh, this currency pair on dips. Do you mean that you expect the U.S. dollar to lose momentum even against its Canadian counterpart? Uh, USD Canadian dollar. This is actually um, a quite interesting because what I found here is there is a broken symmetrical triangle in the background if you watch like 8 hour time frame or 4 hour time frame we got a most recently the breakout to the downside but uh, seems like the price uh, needs to retest this um, this support again from the other side and now this support basically became resistance and I do expect more downside on the USD versus Canadian dollar so what for selling opportunities on this currency pair in the downward targets are set at the price of 1.2950 and 1.2790 again broken uh, symmetrical triangle or contracting pattern and successful potential retest of the, the resistance uh, may lead us to uh, a new downside uh, lag on um, this currency pair thank you peter for your trading recommendations and see you next week You've watched the link up on InstaForex TV with me, Anna Kasatkina, and Peter Yakimovich, technical analyst of InstaForex office in Serbia. We wish you always profitable trading and see you soon.